Hey guys and gals, I hope you're all doing good out there. Today's Avanix video is brought to you by New England Air Gun. So when you're ready to order any of the Avanix line, just give John a call over there at New England Air Gun and they'll fix you right up. Today we're checking out the latest version of the Avanix Air Speed. This is a semi-automatic version of the gun with the woodstock you're looking at right there. It's from about six or seven years ago and that's my fully automatic Avanix Speed. And if you look, the stocks are actually identical. So I might pop off a few rounds from that at the end of this video. For now though, we got a 2022 Evanix Airspeed sent over from New England Air Guns. And this one has a regulator added to it. It's regulated at 150 bar. All the Evanix guns are gonna come well packed and arrive to you in perfect shape just like this. I love the way they pack these. Even in the bright sunlight, this is a really good looking gun. And I'll show you more of it in a second. This bad boy is gonna come with some breech O-rings. Every once in a while, one of those will pop out. A fill probe, which is the same as all the old Avanix. You will need a 1 8 quick disconnect foster fitting nipple for the end right there. There'll be a link in the description if you need to order one. And you get two magazines. One of these is for pellets and one of these is for slugs or let's just say big slugs because smaller slugs you can stick in the pellet magazine, but you get a slug magazine and a pellet mag. The precision and the fit and finish with which all the Avanix products are manufactured is just superb. These are very high quality products. So this finish on this gun looks like a soft touch finish, which would be wood with a soft touch coating over it, but it's actually a synthetic stock. So it's high strength polymer with the rubberized coating. So it appears to be a soft touch, but then at the same time, it's lightweight and well-balanced, easy to carry if you want to go hunting with it. This is a lightweight, balanced gun due to that stock, but you still have the nice rubberized, soft touch finish on it. So I really like that. This runs on 250 bar. It's got adjustable power, high, medium, and low. Although we're going to show you the high, medium, and low is just to shave a little bit of speed off your pellet. So it might only bump you down like 20 FPS. The power wheel is just for fine tuning for different pellets. So you can use light ammo or heavy ammo and perfectly tune it in for just about any pellet. We also shoot slugs at the end of this video. It's got a one half UNF threaded muzzle on the shroud so you can put any LDC you want on there. That's always nice. The manometer is located at the end of the tube right there. Easy to read. It's got your green zone right there. So to fill the gun, you got the fill port right at the front right there next to your aluminum barrel band. And it's got a dust cover, so you just turn the cover, line the hole up, fill it up, and then you can close it back up to keep dirt out of there. If you want, the entire cap comes on and off, so you can do that as well. Some of you guys might want to put a Sekhmet digital gauge on the end of this bad boy. So that'd be very easy. Just take that cap off. You've got a 280cc air tube. You want to fill your air gun slowly. I'm actually showing this at uh, nine times the speed. It's got a sweet trigger. We'll get a trigger pull weight in a second here, but you can pop off rounds as fast as you can pull the trigger. Mm, that's a pretty sweet trigger. This reminds me a lot of my FX Monsoon, although it's a little more accurate. Well, I didn't even realize I was cocking it. That's so smooth. So you just go, and that's cocked. And Oh, it's semi-auto, duh. <laughs> Sorry. All right, so basically, you cock it once like that, and then you're ready to go. This is definitely a two-stage trigger. And then when you pull the trigger, basically the bolt pops out and it does its thing. So what that does mean is you can pull your magazine in and out anytime. You don't have to decock it or uncock it or nothing. Just put that safety on. So it comes in at a smooth 10.6 ounces. So that's pretty light, but not too light. So I'm using a nylon coated flexible cleaning rod. It's called the Crown Saver. Got my gun upside down so I don't get solvent in the transfer port. And I'm using Ballastol, which is safe for air gun seals. I'll pull a few patches, get that preservative gunk out of the barrel. You always got to clean your new air gun or firearm for the best accuracy. They put preservative gunk in the barrel 
Dirty. So that the barrels don't rust while it's sitting on the shelf. All right, we are as clean as a whistle. So here's what happens when you clean your air gun. And that's my clean one. So definitely an improvement. All right, this bad boy's all ready to go for tomorrow. Cleaned, got the scope on there. I'm gonna go ahead and leave the LDC off because it wasn't any quieter. I think a lot of the noise was coming out here. When I put a magazine in there, it might make a difference actually with the noise making it quieter. So we shall see. And here's a sound test. You don't mind holding the sound meter, do you, bugaboo? Hell no! Although I'm gonna do another one at the end of the video. And this is definitely a first. After I installed my Donny FL 2.0, it was basically exactly the same noise level. I didn't have a magazine in the gun at the time. That's why I'm gonna do the sound test with a magazine in it at the end of this video. This gun's basically backyard friendly either way, with or without an LDC. However, it didn't make it any quieter, at least with the magazine not installed. So right here, I'm set about 35 yards away and I just wanted to go through all my pellets and see what the FPS is on, everything from the lightest to the heaviest. So we're set up right here at 34 yards, but this is just chronograph testing, it's not accuracy testing. So we got 13.43 grain, 14.35 grain, 15.89 grain reds, 15.89 grain Hades, 16.1 grain FX, 18.13 grain JSB, 18.1 grain FX, 25.4 grain FX, 25.39 grain JSB redesigns, and 33.95 JSB. So one thing that's very important when you load these magazines, you drop a pellet in there and that's flush and that'll allow you to spin the magazine, but that's not good enough. That spring right there needs to engage with that little dent in your pellet right there. So what you actually need to do is give this thing a little bit of a, there it goes, it just snapped right into the spring. Then you rotate to your next one. And seat your pellet. If you don't do that, they can fall out while you're shooting and you don't want that. So that's how you load them, right like that. Smurfic. All right, we got the lightest JSB pellet that I have almost. It's 13.73 uh, grain. Nine eighty seven. That's on high. Oh, it's a semi auto. Semi auto with a side lever. Whoa, same hole, you guys. That was cool. I should side over there. Oh, I can't really tell what's going on for the sideways, so we're going to have to walk it in. I think we got three straight ones and two bent ones. 14.35, here we go. Guess I need to come over. 960, so you could turn that down and up, you know, so let's see what shoots one of those on medium. All right, now I'm on medium. We got the 14.35, so we want to slow them down to, let's say, 890. And I clicked over a little bit. Okay, so it just steps you down a teeny bit. These are for minor adjustments, this power setting. It's for minor adjustments to tune your pellet in. That's all. So let's do it on low with a 14. So this isn't actually, like, high, medium, and low. You're not going to get, like... 960, 800, and 600. It's not how it works. It's just going to shave a teeny bit off of your FPS for pellet tuning. Look at that, 940. So at 940, I did the best. All right, that was fun. So now it's to a common pellet, which is more something you might actually want to shoot out of this gun. 15.89 grain JSB Red. Going back up to high, 15.89 grain. That's 
about exactly what you want. 890 is the magic speed for pellets in most cases, and I think that was all I had in there. Nice. Now let's try some 15.89 grain Hades. All right, we got five Hades right here. Nine eighteen on that, so in reality, I might want to shave a little bit off. All right, I should be in the bullseye. Yeah, going a little too fast. Let's uh, shave this down a bit. All right, I got it on low now. All the way low power. 902, okay, that's probably perfect, so let's see what happens here. I think I got four in there. All right, if I set it in, that'd be a little dime right there. Cool. We're still just chronograph testing. So that was on low. And I'm going back up to high and 18 grain JSB. Here we go. Whoa, these are mangled. All right, 18 grain. And we've done quite a few shots. We're not tripping about the air. Superb. 827, hmm, that's funny. But okay, I mean, if it's gonna fly that straight, I don't care what speed it flies. We're gonna uh, go ahead and skip the 18.1 grain FX because we'll use that during accuracy testing. So what's next is 25 grain redesigns on high. All right, we got a full tank, 25.39 grain redesigns. We're gonna hit low, I'm guessing. And we're on high. Whoa. Same hole in it. Whoa, look at that, you guys. Oh my gosh, so that was 729 feet per second, but it went through the same hole, four of them, at 35 yards away. Okay, so <laughs> sounds good to me. I don't understand everything about the speeds and everything, but it's working. Awesome. So you can shoot the heavies out of this. Okay. All right, I came out here today because there was supposed to be no wind, and now the wind's picking up, so we're just gonna do the 35 real quick, and then we'll do the 50 on a different day. We got a one. I'm actually sitting at the bench right now. Oh, 34, close enough. All right, I'm loaded up with 33.95 uh, grains. We're probably gonna hit pretty low. And they barely fit in the magazine, like it almost shaves the pellet up when you're rotating the mag. That's a mangled one. Alright, I just had to try those. Not bad, but I didn't expect those to do good. But we do have some 25.39 grain redesigns right here, and those will do good. Oh yeah, these go in the magazine perfectly. Spin and rotate just fine. So I'm gonna load up 10 of these, and these are literally like the last 10 in my tin. Click down a little bit. I think I might have five more. Darn, that last one, I lost my concentration, but that was pretty awesome. I thought they were all gonna go through the same exact hole. Let's see if we got any more in here. Nope. Wow, so that's not bad. It's just my first try, you guys. I could probably get a one-hole group with those if I tried. And that was the last 
of the tin, the bent ones. So good. So definitely, you guys, I'd say your 25.39 grain is a winner. 18.1 grain FX pellets made by JSB. All right, a little bit high. Good enough. We'll do three and then we'll do five. Here comes the wind. If you guys can hear those wind chimes. Wow, so that's as badass as, as, as you want to be right there. I mean, whoa. I think I got three left here. Damn, and a semi-auto as well. I've never seen a semi-auto that freaking plugs bullseyes like that. All right, we're out here on a nice, beautiful, calm morning. We've got a target set up there at a very special. 52 yards away. I threw a flyer right after I just got sighted in with the 18.1 grain FX. That was my sighting in group. That was my flyer. But then check out my next group. So if you relax, you can get about a quarter size group. All right, 16.1, and I turned it down on low. Let me see what's going on here. Say so we're looking good. Oh, look at that grouping, you guys. Wow, so I think that's a better option is the 16.1 grain on low. All right, you guys, just for an experiment, I put uh, about eight bent pellets in here with, like, deformed skirts. So let's just see how they shoot. Man, I had one flyer. It's pretty awesome now. All right, it is what it is. It's a quarter size group, but at least it's reliable. No crazy flyers or nothing. Almost a quarter size group, and you can probably get that with a 15.89 grain or 16.1 grain FX on low or 18.1 grain on high. Okay, so the magazine that does not have the spring on the side of it. That's actually for slugs. And so I have literally, I think, 10 different 22 caliber Zon slugs. I went ahead and grabbed the most lightweight in 218 and 217. I'm just going to try these two and see how they do at 50 yards. I bought one box of everything that Zon makes as far as slugs. So in the future, I'm going to try to test slugs in just about every gun we go through. All right, you guys, these slugs did just as good as the pellets. I think maybe a little better. And it's no secret that slugs are the more superior ammo next to pellets. So I can't just go film a whole slug segment right now. Let's go down and see what I shot, though. At a very nifty 50 yards. This is a .217 that I shot, four shots. So that is actually the best group, better than any of the pellets. That's an actual quarter, not almost a quarter. And then up here was my first try with the 
0.218, which is the same slug, just a little bit thicker. Both 23 grain, 23.5 grain. All right, back in the day, they made single magazines, double magazines, so you just slide it over. And this right here is what's called a premium magazine. So this is a 177 caliber, holds 18 rounds. I believe the normal one holds maybe 12 or 13. So I got 18 shots, 177 caliber heavies out of this bad boy. So this is going to be the same as the airspeed. There's a little notch right there that goes in the front. I'm going to slide that right in there. Make sure that locks right in the middle. Should stick right in the middle. And then mine has semi and full auto. So this is semi. And then full. It's pretty awesome. I like to do three shot burst. All right, you guys, this is a sound test with JSB 25 grain in the magazine and a Donnie FL. Well, it's exactly the same with the magazine in there and that was with the Donnie FL on there. So these guns come with or without regulators. So if you want a regulator, you have to ask for one. As far as shot count goes, my gun was regulated at 150 bar. So between 250 and 150, I got about 35 on the regulator shots. And as you can see from these numbers, the regulator is definitely doing its job. Sure enough, right when I got to 150, the velocity just completely dropped off. So 33, 35 good shots, and then it's time to refill. All right, you guys, that's it for me on this one. I appreciate you tuning in. Definitely go check out John at New England Air Gun. They sell all the Avanix line. By the way, this gun comes in 22, 25, and 30 caliber, and I believe they can order you a 177 if you want it. Also, if you want a little more air capacity, we are gonna be reviewing the 480 airspeed with a carbon fiber tank in a couple weeks here, so stay tuned for that. All right, everybody, happy shooting. We'll see you on the next one.